Hi everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to Crack the Vault Collaboration hosted by Poet Spice here on YouTube. Everyone that's participating will be in the description box. We post every third Friday of the month for the year 2023. So for the collab you post, you share stuff that you haven't used in six months or older or brand new. So what I want to share with you is the things that I had collected. I wanted to do a whole wood series. I still may do it in the new year, um, just not anytime soon. So these boxes, I'm at a different angle. So these boxes they had at the Dollar Tree a while back for a dollar. Um, and now they have them, some of them for a dollar and a quarter. This obviously don't fit here, but what I did is I took six of these boxes like this and I glued them on top of each other. And then for the pieces that go on the inside, I took those and I just, I'll share with you. My hot glue, I have E6000 on here, so I want it to dry completely, so that's why I have it leaned in like this because it keeps sliding off. But eventually it'll dry. I, I chose to use E6000 versus hot glue, but I may have to rethink that. So what I did is I took six pieces, as you can see, let's see. Can you see it? Yes. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. Six pieces, right? And I glued them together. And then I was like, oh, I'm going to make a little tower. But then I was like, no, we can use these drawers for storage. Also, while we're at it, I hadn't used this in a long time. I used turquoise, admiral blue. I got this from Hobby Lobby on clearance for 69 cents. I used this um, deep teal. And then I used this Caribbean or Caribbean, how you pronounce it. Um, depends on where you're from right and then so what I did was I was like ooh I'm gonna do something clever so the reason why it looks like I didn't finish it is because I didn't finish it I didn't finish it on purpose because you know normally you don't slide the draw all the way out to the edge right you slide it out about right there and look you see how you could even slide get get away with it right there right so anyway I did a little pattern I did all of these so blue, oh, what is this one? Turquoise, Admiral Blue, Turquoise, Admiral Blue, etc., etc., etc. So that is what I did. And if you want to get real fancy, I'm not that fancy. You could probably put something on the back here, like a little sheet of paper, if you really want to block out this piece. I don't really mind that piece being there because it's just going to be on my desk, another place to put stuff in. And work now all of them don't fit properly in the drawer I wrote on there see how it says four five this one says six so that's how I set it up to look but I'll show you it in working it doesn't glide out like a regular drawer but just example if you want to put I would never put this in here but if I decided to then we'd have this I don't want to keep messing with the button and this comes from the Dollar Tree this is the only thing that's new right here the little button but I I'm glad I finished this project and if I hadn't glued it you could do it this way if you are inclined I didn't finish the bottom but I am very proud of the work the the painting that I did so I painted all one color and then I just came back and I was like oh let me turn it into more of a sea themed I haven't I don't think I will but just so you know I didn't mod podge it to to finish it because I, I think not anytime soon maybe next year I want to put a decoupage on it but I didn't want to do a Parisian themed decoupage I want it to be something sea themed so maybe I'll go and get some mermaid uh, paper some napkins or something different and put it on there and at this at that point I'll probably take this and change the buttons to different hardware and actually have it where it glues through both sides so anyway this is my project for the month of December again I want to say um, I had a great time doing these projects thank you so much to Poet Spice and all the wonderful collaborators that I have got a chance to work with this year I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas a wonderful new year and I'll see you in the new year doing something different I want to say thank you for watching until next time happy crafting